This is the story of the crashed F-35 that you've been seeing all over the internet. On December 15, 2022, while attempting a vertical landing at Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in Fort Worth, Texas an F-35B Lightning to fighter jet, still in the testing phase and owned by Lockheed Martin, crashed. The aircraft was supposed to be doing a hover maneuver at 10 feet above the runway. When it hit the runway, bounced and spun out of control. The pilot, a U.S. Air Force major with more than 3,000 hours of flight time, successfully ejected at very low altitude. He was taken to a nearby hospital but sustained no serious injuries. Thanks to the effective performance of his ejection seat and safety gear, the crash was caught on video and within hours had spread across social media and news outlets. In response, the F-35 Joint Program Office temporarily suspended acceptance flights and deliveries of new jets to the Air Force and Marine Corps impacting Lockheed Martin's production timeline for 2022. An investigation led by Naval Air Systems Command, Nevere focused on the aircraft's short takeoff and vertical landing systems, or STOVL. The system enables the F-35B to take off and land vertically, which is necessary for operating the aircraft from aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. The review did not uncover any widespread issues with the STOVL system or other F-35s. And while the mishap resulted in a temporary grounding of the fleet, it did not have any long-term effects on the program. The F-35 remains a cornerstone of US and Allied air power. But this event serves as a reminder of the challenges inherent in developing and operating cutting-edge military technology.